Oh, it was so nice that finally by like, what, five o'clock yesterday, the yeah. sun came out. I went outside, went for a walk. It was so nice. I mean, that really helped us warm up for those temperatures. We got into the upper 60s. Chilly, yeah. Yeah, so uh, the, yesterday morning, kind of that gloomy weather, but the second half was a lot better. And then we did get up to 67, warmer than Chicago. Minneapolis had a high of 74 yesterday. This is the warm air that's arriving here for today. Some areas might get into the lower 80s, especially in southern Wisconsin. And then the latest kind prediction center outlook for the temperatures. We're going to have a little cool spot over the next about five, seven days or so after today and tomorrow. But afterwards, it does appear more average temperatures or even slightly above average average temperatures will be returning across northeast Wisconsin. So here's the weather picture map for this morning. We've got a couple areas of low pressure and one moving across the central plains, another one well up into Canada. And these areas of low pressure, this warm front is going to lift northward and that's going to bring our temperatures into the upper 70s today. Along that warm front boundary, a couple light rain showers and embedded thunderstorms. So we're north of that. We have the sunshine, but then Getting into the late morning, early afternoon, some high level, mid level clouds will mix in and make some filtered sunshine. Then we'll focus on the severe weather threat later on this evening. There is a marginal and a slight risk for severe weather for the viewing area. Better chance of some strong, severe storms where you see from Mason City until La Crosse, an enhanced risk of severe weather where there are the best chance of seeing any type of severe weather out there will be very large hail. As the storm clusters get closer into our neck of the woods, they will be weakening, but still can can't rule out the possibility of some gusty winds and some hail, but in terms of any tornado threat, it does appear to be quite low from any of these thunderstorms that do develop sometime later this evening. So here's how Skycast is showing it going into the next couple of hours. We'll start to see gradually increasing clouds, so starting off completely sunny out there this morning. It's a beautiful sunrise, but then getting into the late afternoon and early evening, five o'clock, a few pop up showers or maybe in better thunderstorms possible getting to about 930 this evening. You see how we have additional showers and thunderstorms continuing. Can't rule out a few additional storms overnight into early Friday morning as a cold front moves down to the southeast. So along that frontal boundary, we will be having additional showers and storms, but by four or five o'clock, the skies will start to clear. We'll have sunny weather to end the day on Friday, but behind it, cooler air will fill in here as we get into the weekend. Rainfall prospects, if we do see some of those heavier showers and storms, some locations could get close to three quarters to an inch of rain, while the other areas probably getting down to under a quarter of an inch of rainfall. So it really depends where exactly those storms do line up later this evening and overnight. At this moment, we've got temps in the mid 40s in mountain and lower 50s to mid 50s across the Fox Valley. Lakeside areas are in the lower 50s with winds coming in right now out of the south and southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We could see upwards about 15, maybe some 20 mile per hour gusts ahead of those storms that do fire up later on this evening, going up to 79 today with those southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight we will cool off to 58. A few isolated to scatter showers and storms are possible. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour and for tomorrow getting up to the lower 70s on the back end of this cold front that'll move through winds will then turn out of the west at 5 to 15 miles per hour 70 forecast it starts to get cooler afterwards getting down to 60 degrees on saturday a few additional showers are possible and on sunday probably dry but temps right around 60 then back up into the mid 60s monday through wednesday but a chance of more rain returning tuesday and wednesday so not looking too pretty after friday but there is some warmer weather after that 70 forecast. So I, let's just keep going up a little bit, just step by step. Exactly. You know, two steps up, one step back. There you go. Do you know? Thank you. Still ahead this.